Philadelphia trying to move up. Two games now behind Milwaukee. You don't know what the Giannis situation is going to be with the right wrist. Yeah, I, I think, you know, him coming to All-Star Weekend, Giannis lets me know that the, the injury isn't that serious. Um, you know, I think a guy, if he was that serious, he would be home, you know, getting treatment. Uh, especially during a four-day break. I don't think you would stay out there if you were really that injured. But um, all three of those teams can be in the NBA Finals, Boston, Milwaukee, or Philadelphia to me. I think all, Philadelphia, this is their best opportunity. Uh, Joel is playing, like, like Doc said, he is playing at an MVP clip because he's doing other things other than affecting the game scoring. Uh, you, know, he, you know, he still had a, a, a good offensive night. But he struggled two for 14, I believe it was, in the first half. And finished seven for 25. And finished seven for 25. So he really didn't have a productive offensive night, but he made impactful plays. And that's, to me, why I say they have the best chance to win an NBA title. And if the, the key will be Tobias Harris. Because James Harden is coming along, but Tobias has got to get back into the mode of, you know what, at some nights I might lead this team in scoring. And that, they're going to need that throughout the rest of the season, especially when the playoffs start. Tyrese Maxey's been, uh, you know, been put on the bench, you know, coming off the bench yeah. in that role, and he's and he's flourished. continues to flourish. Well, Joel was, even though he was struggling offensively, he was great tonight. But it's really, he has to play like that every night. He, to me, he's the one guy, because when you, Milwaukee, Giannis has to play great every night for them to win. Joel has to play great for the Sixers to win. They even have a chance against those other two teams. Boston's the one who has the huge advantage because they have two nuclear weapons between Jalen and Jason. Uh, they're probably the deepest team out of the three, the Celtics. But Joel, to me, is the most unguardable player in the NBA. But he's going to have to dominate. He's going to have to dominate if they're going to beat Milwaukee or Boston, because he is the most unguardable player in the NBA. Even though Joker gets all the assists and everything, this dude, gonna, he going to wreck you. What do you think was the change between Boston? I know we I know got 30. What was the change? At one time, you're like, Jason and, 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 and Jalen couldn't play together. Well, I now think, they are. What do you think the change is for you? Because I always... Well, I, I think that when you play with other great players, you have to say, I'm going to get less shots, but it's going to help the team. Instead of getting 25 shots, I'm going to get 20. And then some nights, I'm going to get my 25 when I got it going. When you, I always thought it was great to play with better players. When I got Kevin Johnson and Dan Marley. So you think they've done that? Yes, I do. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. When I got Dan Marley and Kevin Johnson, it was the greatest thing ever. because I didn't have to score every big basket. Would love to see these guys, want, want to see all these teams healthy at playoff. Oh, yeah. Want to see these guys at full strength, these Phillies and Milwaukee. <laughs> That's and pretty Boston. good. He's supposed to run out of gas most of the time. He couldn't make it back from yeah, Orlando. The 20, the 20, the 40. Oh, it's one of my favorites of all time right there. Don't play me. Don't play, don't play me, me. Jenny. Uh, Jenny, don't play me.